you want your Witcher 3 game FPS to go from here to here, stick around. So there are two ways you can do this. Uniscaler uses FSR 3.1 with frame generation and DLSS enabler use DLSS with frame generation. Two different methods do the same thing in different ways. I will do a comparison at the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Let's start with the uh, DLSS enabler. Go to this website, link will be in the description. It's safe so you don't need to worry about viruses now. Yeah, you. So DLSS enabler simulate DLSS upscaler and frame generation features on any DirectX 12 compatible GPU in any DirectX 12 game that supports DLSS 2 and 3 natively. And yeah, do not install this on any multiplayer game as the uh, anti-cheat will ban you. So don't. Take your time and read through this if you are interested. But I will make videos anyway for the lazy gamers. Before download this, make sure to create a free account in here if you haven't done it already. Then download it. Okay, let's install this. Go to your Witcher 3 installation folder. Go to bin and then x64 dx12 folder, not the regular x64. Run the DLSS enabler, accept this and next. Next. In here, copy this path from here and paste it here. Or you can browse the files and select the folder. Press next. For Nvidia users, first option is enough. You can install the mod. For AMD and Intel users, if you go to the Nexus site again, you can see there is a note for you guys. To run the game on unsupported hardware like Intel and AMD, select the given AMD Intel support package when installing. That means this one, along with the main files. And then, after finishing the installation, please use the reg file delivered by the installer and disable NVIDIA signature override. That means this option. So if you are an Intel or an AMD user, make sure to select these options. Make sure to run the Disable Signature Override Registry file after the installation. I am using a NVIDIA GPU, so I am going with the only option I need. And hit Next. When the installation is done, you can open the game. In Game Graphic Settings, make sure to choose DLSS in Anti-Aliasing and set a quality you like. Go to display settings and turn on frame generation. That's it, now you can enjoy the game. If you want to uninstall the mod, simply run the uninstaller. Uninstaller will not delete these two files, delete those two, then you are good to go. That's it for the DLSS frame gen method. On to the FSR 3.1 frame generation method. Go to the same file location again and copy everything in your Uniscalar 10 folder to here. After that, go to stub folder and copy the nvngx file and paste it in here. Then run the enable signature override registry file. And make sure not to run the game when MSI Afterburner is running. You can use MSI Afterburner when you are inside the game. So same in-game settings. Turn on DLSS and frame generation. For me, Uniscale is pretty smoother than the DLSS frame generation. 
but this mode has some flickering when moving your mouse and with Geralt's hair. But smoothness is way better. So if you want to uninstall this mod, you just need to delete these files. That's it. Enjoy the benchmark. Until next time, adios amigos. Thank you.